Hello, welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. I am Brother Azana David. This is one of the messages that the Lord has given to me. The title of this message is Warning from God about sharing of nude pictures and videos. We live in a digital age that a lot of people don't see anything wrong with sharing their nude pictures or videos. Some of them are so brainwashed to believe that for you to become popular, you have to dress sexy and even show some sacred parts of your body in public. Many of these birthday pictures and some of these pictures, some of these pregnant women take, they look so pornographic. That is the truth. I, I've seen some pictures people share on Facebook, on social media, a pregnant woman not wearing anything, but snapping herself from the side way, showing the side of her body and using hands to cover herself. Your hands are not closed. These pictures that a lot of people put online, either deliberately or unintentionally, there are implications. Satan makes use of them. Demons have the power to infest these pictures. This is a message the Lord gave to me on the 18th of January, 2024. As usual, I usually write the messages down. So I want to read. The spirit of sexual immorality has gone out into the world. There are many girls and boys who secretly video record and snap pictures of their private parts and sell them secretly to make money. Now, tell them that they are playing a dangerous game. They should not think that they are safe just because their faces do not appear on the videos and pictures. Tell them that Every single one of those videos and pictures lands on the altar of the devil. All those who do this sell their rights and dominion as humans to demons. I posted a video which I talk about how Satan tricks the children of men to lose their dominion through sexual immorality. Is pretty a long video because I took my time to explain a lot of things. It is a message the Lord gave to me and I had to throw more light in some areas of the message so that people can understand very clearly. We as humans, we are created to represent God. We have dominion. Satan tries to steal this from us. And one of the things he does is make people commit sexual immorality, make people expose their nakedness. In that message, the Lord told me that those who expose their nakedness in public, they reduce themselves to the level of a prostitute. And a prostitute does not have resistance over the power of the devil because a prostitute is a slave to the devil and is a slave to sin. Exposure of nakedness is a crime. It is a sin and a violation against humanity, against your own flesh. Because in that message, the Lord told me that he was the one that clothed men after Adam and Eve fell. He clothed them by himself. He made garments of skins and gave to them to cover their nakedness. So God is the first fashion designer so far because God invented clothes. A lot of people are so hungry for money that they video record themselves. There are hundreds and thousands of pornographic sites that are soliciting for videos and pictures. Because of poverty, a lot of people snap themselves, video themselves, and sell them. Some of them even add pornography videos, and they are asked to cover their faces so that they will not be seen. 
But even if you cover your face, even if your face is covered and nobody knows that you are the person, Satan knows you. Demons know you. This message, the Holy Spirit said that every single one of them lands on the altar of the devil. Because you have violated a law. Listen to the scripture. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 8 says, He that digeth a pit shall fall into it, and whoso breaketh an hedge, a serpent shall bite. When you bore a hole in a wall, a serpent will bite you. Who is a serpent? The devil. He is the ancient serpent. If you violate the laws of God, and you violate yourself. If you reduce yourself from the position of dominion to the position of slavery, you expose yourself to demonic accesses and demonic attacks. Listen to this again. Psalm 119 verse 67 says, Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I have kept thy word. When you go astray, you give room to the devil to afflict you. Because going astray is going away from the Lord. You are, when you go into sin and live in sin, the glory of God departs from you. The fire of God departs from you. The light of God, the fire that is burning in your life, because you are the temple of God. Every temple has an altar and every altar has fire. When that fire goes down or when the fire quenches, demons cannot access your life and do whatsoever thing they want with you. Even many of these girls and boys today, even some married women and married men, they snap their naked bodies, video record themselves and send them. It pains me for Parents who are able to afford gadgets, smart phones for their children, but cannot monitor their children. Some of these children video record themselves and just send them. And some of these desperate young men and young women believe that if their video leads to the internet, they will become famous. Some of them intentionally do it, but there are repercussions. There are serious repercussions, whether your face is seen or not. As a matter of fact, the Lord told me that every nakedness that is captured on camera has violated the law of privacy, human privacy. It could be a private camera, it could be any, it could be as private as private. But so long as it has been captured on camera, either on video or on picture, it has violated the law of privacy. I talked about the three laws of privacy that the Holy Spirit gave to me in a message. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Please take your time to watch these videos. Knowledge is power. As you hear these words and as you begin to step up your spiritual life, you will see that some of these struggles, some of these attacks you face, will just go away naturally. Some of these doors will be closed. And if you need help, I am here to help you. It's free of charge. Freely I receive, freely I give. My reward is in heaven. People need to hear these things and come out of bondage especially our young ones who are born into this digital age. Let's continue. Tell them that every single one of those videos and pictures lands on the altar of the devil. All those who do this sell their rights and dominions and as humans to demons. All those whose videos and pictures land on the altar of Satan open up their lives to demonic accesses and oppressions. This is why many people are struggling in life. Some of them have become frustrated. These demons are capable of invoking 
their spirits out of those videos and pictures to imprison them and also to commit sexual immorality with them. Let me explain. Have you ever noticed that sometimes when witches want to poison you or when they want to attack you, they pick your properties, like your shoes, the, your underwear, things you wear that come in contact with your skin, your singlet, your panties, your tights, your boxers, your bra. They try to take these things. Sometimes they look for your hair. As a matter of fact, when I was growing up, I was taught that anytime you cut your hair, you have to pack everything. You pick everything. I stopped doing that a long time ago. But anytime I cut my nails, I take my time to pick everything. Anytime I comb my hair, I remove the hair, the strands from the comb, and I deposit, I dispose them well. This is how I was raised. And my mom explained to me that anything that comes out of your body could be used against you. And that is the truth. A lot of times when witches and wizards want to create a contact with you, they need something that you have used. It could be the clothes you've worn. It could be the pen you've used to write before. They want to create a contact. So also, when you violate the rule of privacy, the law of privacy, and expose your nakedness to the public, if it is captured in a digital format, this violation of yourself and privacy can open up your life for access. Your spirit could be invoked demonically. People's spirits can be invoked. As a matter of fact, some of the people who are suffering addiction, they have been invoked and locked up somewhere. It is what they tell them that they do. We are living in the world of darkness. It is a demonically infested world. We need to be careful. There are billions of demons in the world right now. There are thousands, hundreds of thousands of fallen angels, some of whom are roaming this earth. They are roaming this planet. We have to be careful. He that breaketh an hedge, the serpent will bite. Don't expose yourself to demons. Don't expose your life to demons. The blood of Jesus covers your information. If you expose your life, if you are tricked to do the things that violate your right and violate you as a representative of Christ, you will be reduced to the level of a slave and you will lose your spiritual dominion. Why is it that some of you, you see people coming to force you to make love to you? Some people will say, oh, when I woke up from the dream, I discovered that I've already messed up myself. Some ladies will say that they could see it very clearly. That it's like somebody slept with them physically. Demons violate people. Witches violate people. There are people who have been forced and violated. What gave them that access? to come into their lives and violate them. Some of these things people call civilization. It's not civilization. You could be covered, but scantily covered. Demons love nakedness. There is nobody that is filled with the Holy Ghost that loves nakedness. Nobody. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. Holy, not unholy. So when you do unholy things, you give power to filthy spirits, to unholy spirits, to gain access into your life and enslave you. Let's continue. There is nothing 
that can set these set of people free is set by genuine repentance and deliverance by the power of Jesus Christ. I will judge everyone whose videos and pictures are on the altar of the devil because they have committed the crimes of multiplying demonic powers against mankind and also increase sexual immorality on the earth, which bleeds and cries out for judgment. I, the Lord, have spoken. Let me just say this. Some of you think that, oh, it's just ordinary masturbation. Oh, it's just, uh, I just paid a prostitute and just had some fun with her. It is more than that. Some of these spams are collected. As a matter of fact, the Lord gave me a revelation, which I will soon post on this channel. How demons make use of spams in the kingdom of darkness, fallen angels, demonic powers, demonic entities. They use these things in research. On different occasions, the Lord has revealed to me that the human sperm is the most precious fluid on this earth in the kingdom of darkness. It contains a lot of information. Some of you have been sent into this world to solve problems. Let me not go too deep. I'm going to do that video and also post it on my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com. Please subscribe to this channel, Biblical Sexual Purity, across different social media platforms at BS Purity. Recommend this channel to other people. And also pray for me because this is a ministry the devil has been attacking so much. When you commit sexual immorality, Satan could gain access, demons could gain access to your sex fluid and they could use it against you. A lot of people who masturbate, your sperm, your sex fluid, end up in the kingdom of darkness. You think you're just having fun, but demons could hang around. As a matter of fact, there is a message God gave me. It's about those who live in Sodom and Gomorrah, places where there is high activity of sexual immorality, how demons lurk around, how demons frequent such places. Because they collect spams, they collect sex fluids and take them to their kingdoms. Do not be ignorant. The Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. There is no enjoyment in sin. Sin will enslave you and finally destroy you. And send you to hell where all sinners will go. I said the power of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit told me in this vision that nothing can set these people free except genuine repentance and deliverance through the name of Jesus Christ. And then finally, he said to me, one pastors who don't speak against sexual immorality and teach people how to live sexually pure and also break free from sexual bondages that no matter how much they preach my word, and work for me, they will never see the kingdom of heaven. This is because they allow sexual immorality to breed before their very eyes. Tell them that they are judged already. There are many men of God who don't speak against sexual immorality. As a matter of fact, many of them encourage it. They may mention it once in a while, but they don't say it with all seriousness. They don't want their members. Some of them are also benefiting by feeding their flesh with some of those things. They believe that by telling these people the bitter truth, they will change their church and they will never give offering. But the truth is that they have their reward already. The Lord said they are judged for allowing immorality to breed before their very eyes. Are you in bondage? The power of the Lord can set you free. 
What are you supposed to do if you have your pictures leaked? If out of ignorance, you have your videos leaked, please go and delete them. Look for a way to take them offline. There are very powerful technologies you can use to withdraw those videos. Take them offline. I know it is stressful, but please take them offline and repent. Repent of your sins and give your life to Jesus Christ. He has power to break every chain. All those your videos and pictures in the altar of Satan. God has the power to destroy them. And they will never be used against you. Are you not aware that even in the kingdom of darkness, people, the spirits of people can be invoked. People who don't know God. People who don't have the power of God. How much more your naked pictures and your naked videos? How much more will Satan use it against you? This is why it is good to live a holy life. And if you are the type that you already have these pictures and videos in one computer or memory card or in somebody's phone, please go and delete them. Destroy them. If you save them anywhere, maybe in your Google Drive, in your OneDrive, wherever they are, please destroy them. And don't let anybody fool you. You could be your husband with your wife. Don't save anything. Don't document your nakedness. Don't capture your nakedness. It is a violation of privacy. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you have done it by ignorance before, I know a lot of you have your own past. Go and destroy them and ask God for forgiveness and the Lord will forgive you. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, feel free to contact me. My details are on the screen and in the description box. My personal website is hosannadavid.com. Contact me. I will lead you to Christ. It is free of charge. The Lord God Almighty is very much ready to set you free. Only if you can surrender to him. Please subscribe to this channel and like this video, comment and share this video with other people. Invite other people to be part of this ministry, especially those who are struggling with one sexual sin or the other. It could be addiction. The Lord God Almighty is going to set them free. Knowledge is power. As they hear the word of God, as they hear the truth, hear secrets of Satan and hear secrets from above, they will be set loose by the power of the Lord. Thank you for watching. I want to pray with you. Lord, I pray for these ones that the power of the Lord God Most High will set you free. Be free from every bondage in the name of Jesus. May the yoke of darkness break from your life. May the power of the wicked ones be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. I declare your freedom right now. Whichever way you have gone astray, whichever way you have let you have lived the life of sexual immorality and Satan is using it against you. I declare in the name of Jesus, receive your freedom. Be free right now. If your pictures or your videos are on the altar of Satan, if they are being used against you in one shrine or the other, in the name of Jesus, I declare, let the fire of the Holy Ghost destroy them in the name of Jesus. I declare your freedom right now. It is well with you. Receive the power to live a holy life. Receive power to live the life of holiness in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you and God bless you. If you don't go to church, please look for a Bible-believing holiness church to attend. And the Lord God Almighty will see you through into his kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I said, don't forget, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.